In May 2025, Greenland sent a planetary distress signal, record-shattering ice melt, not a slow thaw, but a torrent. The world watched as vast rivers of meltwater carved new paths across the ancient ice, and satellite images revealed a landscape transforming before our eyes. This wasn't just another seasonal change, it was a dramatic, urgent warning from one of Earth's most remote frontiers. This was no ordinary weather event. It was a symptom of a world running a dangerous fever. The atmosphere above Greenland was warmer than ever recorded, and the ice responded with unprecedented speed. Scientists on the ground described the sound of rushing water and cracking ice as a haunting reminder of the planet's rising temperature. Why should you care? Because Greenland's fate is tied to our coastlines, our weather, and our civilization. When Greenland's ice melts, it doesn't stay in Greenland. That water travels, raising sea levels, threatening cities, and altering ocean currents that regulate weather patterns across continents. The melting ice isn't a distant problem, it's a direct challenge to us all. Every drop of water that leaves Greenland's ice sheet is a drop that could one day flood a home, disrupt a harvest, or reshape a community thousands of miles away. It's a wake-up call echoing from the Arctic to every corner of the globe. The Arctic may seem far away, but its changes ripple outward, touching every nation, every ecosystem, and every person. Greenland's heat wave is more than a headline, it's a chapter in our relationship with Earth. It's a stark reminder that our actions, from burning fossil fuels to clearing forests, have consequences that reach even the most isolated places. For too long, we've treated the planet as an infinite resource, but it's a complex, interconnected system. Every action we take, every emission, every decision feeds into a global web of cause and effect. When we push one part too hard, the repercussions are felt everywhere. Greenland's melt is a powerful example of how environmental stress in one region can trigger crises in another, from rising seas to shifting weather patterns. The shocking melt in Greenland is a lesson written in water and ice. It's a story told in the language of nature, one that demands our attention, our understanding, and our action. Let's follow the data, explore the science, and understand the human story behind this unprecedented event. By listening to the scientists and the communities on the front lines, we can grasp the true scale of what's happening and what's at stake. By understanding the problem, we empower ourselves to find solutions. Innovation, adaptation, and collective action are possible, but only if we recognize the urgency and magnitude of the challenge. The story of Greenland's ice is our story, and how we respond will define our future. The choices we make today will echo for generations, shaping not just Greenland, but the fate of our entire planet. To truly understand what unfolded in Greenland, we must turn to the language of science, numbers, data, and the stories they reveal. Behind every statistic is a team of dedicated researchers, working tirelessly to decode the signals our planet sends us. Their work is meticulous, their findings urgent. In May 2025, satellites orbiting high above the Earth captured something extraordinary. Greenland's vast ice sheet was melting at a rate 17 times higher than the historical average. This wasn't a gradual change, it was a dramatic acceleration, visible from space. In just a matter of days, 60 billion metric tons of ice disappeared. To put that in perspective, imagine a solid block of ice 1 kilometer wide, 1 kilometer long, and 60 meters high, gone, melted into the ocean. The sheer scale is almost unimaginable, yet it is all too real. This isn't guesswork or speculation, it's the result of precise, real-time satellite measurements, cross-checked and verified by scientists around the world. What's even more alarming is that the melt wasn't confined to the usual coastal regions. It crept inland, reaching elevations and latitudes that rarely see such early thawing. This pattern signals a shift in the very dynamics of Greenland's ice. Over 800,000 square kilometers of ice began to melt, an area larger than the entire country of Turkey. The enormity of this event is difficult to grasp, but its impact is global. As the surface turned to slush, it darkened, absorbing even more sunlight. This triggered a dangerous feedback loop where the more the ice melted, the faster the thaw accelerated, compounding the crisis. These staggering numbers are not isolated data points, they are the culmination of decades of global scientific observation, fieldwork, and collaboration. Each measurement is a piece of a much larger puzzle. The diagnosis is clear and undeniable. Our planet is running a dangerously high fever. The symptoms are everywhere and Greenland is just one of many warning signs. 
the data from May 2025 is more than a warning. It's a vivid story of a critical system pushed to its breaking point, a call to action for all of us. The time to pay attention, to act, and to change the story is now. The future is being written in ice and water and we are all part of it. What caused such a ferocious melt? A perfect storm of atmospheric conditions supercharged by global warming, a heat dome, a massive high-pressure system, trapped warm air over Greenland, intensifying the heat. This dome pulled up warm, moist air from the south, releasing even more heat as clouds formed. Clear skies let the sun's energy pound the ice while the warm air melted it from above. But this didn't happen in a vacuum. The planet is already warmer due to greenhouse gases. Global warming is the new baseline, making extreme events more intense. The May 2025 melt was the result of a natural weather pattern colliding with a human-warmed world. It's a glimpse of a future where such extremes could become the norm. Greenland's vulnerability is rooted in a phenomenon called Arctic amplification. The Arctic is warming up to four times faster than the global average. This means that while the rest of the planet is heating up, the Arctic is experiencing changes at a much more dramatic pace, making it one of the most sensitive regions to climate change. The Arctic acts as Earth's air conditioner, its vast white ice sheets and glaciers reflecting sunlight back into space, helping to keep the planet cool. This reflective power known as albedo is crucial for regulating global temperatures, but as the ice shrinks and retreats, it exposes darker ocean water and land beneath. These darker surfaces absorb much more heat from the sun, fueling a vicious cycle of warming and melting that accelerates the loss of ice even further. This is what scientists call a positive feedback loop. A small global temperature rise triggers much greater warming in the Arctic, which in turn leads to even more ice loss and further warming, a dangerous spiral that's hard to stop once it begins. That's why the May 2025 heat wave was so devastating for Greenland. The region was already primed for rapid change and the heat wave pushed it past critical thresholds, causing unprecedented melting and raising alarms among scientists worldwide. The Arctic's air conditioner is breaking down, and the consequences reach far beyond the north. Melting ice contributes to rising sea levels and disrupts weather patterns across the globe, affecting millions of people. The temperature difference between the cold Arctic and the warmer mid-latitudes is what drives the powerful jet stream, a high-altitude river of wind that shapes weather systems around the world. As the Arctic warms and this temperature difference weakens, the jet stream becomes wavier and less stable. This instability allows unusual weather patterns to linger longer, making storms, heat waves, and cold snaps more intense and unpredictable. This instability brings extreme weather, cold snaps, heat waves, floods, and droughts, far from the Arctic impacting communities and economies worldwide. A faltering Arctic air conditioner disrupts weather in our own backyards, making the climate less predictable and more challenging for everyone. The ripple effects are global, reminding us that what happens in the Arctic doesn't stay in the Arctic. It affects us all, no matter where we live. The heat dome over Greenland didn't stop there. It spread across the North Atlantic, hitting Iceland hard. Iceland, a climate sentinel, saw record-breaking May temperatures, more Mediterranean than sub-Arctic. Glaciers like Vatnajökull melted faster, rivers swelled, and the seasonal clock jumped ahead by weeks. The same warm air baking Greenland was scorching Iceland, confirming this was a regional-scale anomaly. Iceland's experience is crucial evidence. This wasn't a fluke but a powerful, climate-amplified event. Iceland became a canary in the coal mine, its heat signaling the same danger as Greenland's melt. The fates of Greenland and Iceland are tied by ocean currents and weather patterns. The record heat made the crisis tangible. People felt it, saw it, and lived it. The climate crisis is not distant, it's a present reality for the North. What happens in the Arctic doesn't stay in the Arctic. The warning is clear. Beyond the numbers, a human story unfolds on Greenland's coasts. The Kalalit, Greenland's indigenous people, have thrived for millennia in harmony with the ice. But the rapid changes of May 2025 are pushing their resilience to the limit. Hunters face dangerous, unpredictable ice. Traditional routes are vanishing. Fishing, the backbone of Greenland's economy, is threatened as warming waters disrupt marine life. Thawing permafrost destabilizes homes and infrastructure, literally melting the ground beneath communities. The Kalalit are on the front lines of a crisis they did not cause. 
Their story is a stark reminder. Climate change is a human rights issue. The 60 billion tons of Greenland meltwater in May 2025 didn't vanish. It joined the world's oceans, raising sea levels everywhere. Greenland is the largest contributor to global sea level rise. Its stability matters to us all. Even small annual increases add up, threatening coastal cities with flooding, erosion and saltwater intrusion. Hundreds of millions in cities like Miami, Mumbai and Shanghai are in the path of rising seas. The economic costs are staggering, trillions in infrastructure and property at risk. The May 2025 melt is a loud alarm. What happens in the Arctic affects us all. We live on a single, interconnected water world. The fate of distant ice sheets is tied to our own future. Ignoring Greenland's plight is ignoring our own. Greenland's meltwater poses another risk, disrupting the Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation, or AMOC. The AMOC, including the Gulf Stream, is a giant conveyor belt moving warm water north and cold water south. It's powered by dense, salty water sinking near Greenland, but fresh meltwater forms a lid, blocking this process. If the AMOC slows or collapses, the consequences could be catastrophic colder European winters, shifting rainfall, and marine ecosystem chaos. Each major melt event adds more fresh water, increasing the risk of disruption. The May 2025 melt is a stress test for one of Earth's most vital systems. The AMAC stability is a critical climate tipping point. We're pushing the system in a dangerous direction. The risks are global and profound. We've seen the numbers, the science, and the human cost. The message is clear. The question is, what will we do? We are the only species able to understand and choose our planet's future. The solutions are here. We must rapidly cut greenhouse gas emissions and shift to clean energy. This transition is not just necessary, it's an opportunity to build a healthier, more equitable world. Your choices matter, reduce your carbon footprint but more importantly, use your voice. Demand action from leaders, support climate policies and talk about what's at stake. Share Greenland's story. Change begins with conversation. The future isn't written yet, our choices today will shape it. The May 2025 melt can be a catalyst for action, not just a warning. We are all crewmates on Spaceship Earth. Let's meet this challenge with courage and purpose. The cosmos is watching. Let's give it a story of hope.